So you guys have seen my Dirk Nowitzki build everywhere in NBA 2K24, but you haven't seen him inside the wreck. Now this big can shoot the mid range, shoot the pull up, shoot the fade away, shoot the step back. When I say shoot the step back, look at the one legged step back. This build is absolutely dominating. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how dominant this build is in the wreck. Not only can you shoot, dribble, pass, and rebound, but look how far you can fade away from three and you can even get put back dunks. What is it, YouTube? It's your boy Donnie B. And the B stands for best big in the game because this Dirt Nowitzki build is the best big in the game, man. Listen, this build can shoot the lights out the ball, bro. This build is absolutely insane. First of all, first of all, first of all, I'm so sorry, guys. I know I haven't dropped a video in like nine, ten days, but we are back, man. I was really busy, had some stuff, but we back on that grind, man. Uh, so I was looking at some comments and I saw you guys want to see this build in the wreck and you wanted some SIGs. So I got that in the video too. But before we get into the video today, don't forget to drop a like and drop a sub if you're new to the channel, man. We are not grinding 2,000 subs. Now let's get into the video. So if you guys don't know, if you haven't watched it yet, here's the video for the Dirk build. Say what's up to Dirk real quick. Yeah. Um, but if you haven't, go check that Dirk build video out if you want to make this build. But I just want to tell you guys that this build causes a lot of problems for the defense. First play of the game, look at what I'm shooting. I'm shooting a fade from the corner three and Omar passed me the ball in the paint. Then you have to jump, so I'm able to get off any kind of layup around the paint, and this build has a lot of close shot. You see Darius dots me in the corner there, and then I can easily get to the basket and finish. This build causes a lot of problems for the defense. I can pop out to the three, I can pop out to the mid range, I can still dribble, spin move, get him in the air, and it's nothing he can do about it. And because I can finish so well in this build, and this build has really good finishing, you got the defense on their heels when you're on the perimeter, and then look, foul. They're swiping down immediately. And of course, when we go to the free throw line, we gonna knock them down. I didn't green them, but I have Steph Curry's free throw and I do have a high free throw, so you already know that's good. Then we get this quick ISO here. He can't guard me. No big, it, when you're that big, I think he's like 7'1", he can't guard me at all. No seven foot plus big man is able to guard me. You're way too slow. You're too slow and I can dribble the ball and there's nothing you can do about it. You see here, Lil is gonna get the steal and I'm just gonna run the floor. Omar's on the three point line, so I run the floor and then look at this. I green the 67% contested lay and obviously I'm really good at timing layups, but this build's finishing also helps a lot. And here we're gonna get that quick ISO at the top and once I get this spin move to the basket, if you're smaller, it's nothing you can do to stop me. Once you're good at timing layups, everything else becomes easier. You see, we get the rebound and we outlet it to Darius and he knocks down the three. And that's why I say that 70 pass act is uh, the sweet spot for me because you can still throw the ball down the court without turning it over. Um, and you get some really good pass animations. Uh, but you see at the half, I have 20 and 11 at the half. I have 20 points and 11 rebounds at the half. Like, come on, bro. This build is, is serious. Then I get another ISO at the top, behind the back, tween, spin move, where is he going? Oh my goodness, let's see that again. Look at the handle, the handle's nasty. The spin move, bro, Dirk animations are absolutely insane. And then you see here, I'm just gonna run the floor. We get this quick ISO behind the back. Oh my gosh, spin move, acrobat lay. Come on, bro, come on, bro. What other 611 is doing it like this? Then I get to my bag, another spin move. They can't stop it. You would think, because I'm so slow, they can stop it, but they can't, it's no way. Then you see here, I get the ball, Omar is going to dribble it out. He's going to give it to me. That's just an open shot. It's just an open shot. And that's all you got to do. It's just an open three ball. Get the rebound, and I'm still able to push the ball up the court, use the quick blowout dribble, behind the back, dope behind the back, tween, get to my spot, spin move, lay again. Come on, man. It's the fourth quarter, and I'm sitting on 31 points, so we're just stat padding at this point. We get the rebound, get a quick outlet to Omar so I can run the floor. Omar sees me, and then that's just an easy dunk. An easy dunk. Like you gotta keep things simple sometime. And just like that, I have 35. Darius is gonna dribble the clock down here, hit me in the corner. I still attack the basket. Look how high above everyone I am because I'm 6'11. And look, I finished with 37, 21 rebounds, shooting 75% from the field. All right, guys, and these are my animations. So I've already showed you guys my jump shot in one of my past videos. Um, so this is my layup style. I've got Steph Curry free throw, Dirk pull up, Dirk spin jumper. I have a lot of Dirk animations. Uh, we have Kobe's post fade, Joel Embiid's post hook, even though I don't really post hook like that, but that is the best post hook in the game. Um, I have Embiid's motion style too. Then if we take a trip over to my playmaking animations, we've got the normal dribble style. We've got the pro signature size up, Kawhi regular breakdown. Because our ball handle is what it is, we can't get like some of the super crazy dribbles, but 
I've because I know how to dribble, I figured out how to combo and make them look good. And they're effective for bigs, at least for bigs, they're super effective. So I wouldn't try any of these on a guard. I definitely would not try any of these on a guard because then you'll be looking crazy and then you'll be trash. Okay, so here are my dunk packages. So I don't have anything too crazy. I didn't want to. I didn't want it to be too crazy. I try to keep it realistic, um, as realistic as possible to Dirk. So I've got the rim grazers. Dirk isn't very athletic. He was not very athletic in real life. I've got the rim grazers. I've also got some of the basic dunks. So I've got like the tomahawk, the big man tomahawk off one. Uh, I've got the. Uh, I don't have any player dunks, so I have the regular pro alley oops. Uh, just to catch oops so i don't have anything crazy don't think you need anything crazy as far as dunks for this build all right guys and that is it for the video um this build is absolutely insane as you guys can see uh the the biggest thing i would say with an 83 ball is just learning your timing man uh shooting is pretty hard for like a lot of people shooting is hard for a lot of people especially since they've done a lot of patches and they've they've dropped patches and updates and here and there and they touch shooting to make it easier they've made it harder and everything like that but um it's it's pretty decent in the rec time is di is different everywhere um on the game so i think we all know that by now but you know just stick with it and you'll learn it um so that's it that's it for this video uh let me know down below what you guys liked about the video uh any new builds you guys want to see and just let me know what you guys think i uh, appreciate you guys for tuning in don't forget to drop a like and drop a sub if you're new to the channel man we're in that ground in 2000 subs and i'll see you guys next video